Is every piece of art that we do now original? Is there any more original artwork left to do? Okay, just think of that because we'll come on to that in the video. Right, this is an uh, 18 by 24 inch prime canvas. And I've stretched it out and mounted it on the easel. And I painted a picture on there, I didn't like it. So I rubbed it all in and allowed it all to dry completely. So it's got like a jade color of oil paint on top of there. I won't paint acrylic on top of this because it's got oil paint on there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with a lot of linseed oil and a lot of different colors. And I'll get onto the colors in a moment. But before I put on the linseed oil, would you mind liking the video and subscribing if you haven't done so already? Happy days. Okay, a little bit of just regular artist linseed oil all over the canvas. Make sure every part is covered. And when I've covered it all, I'm gonna hit it with a lint free rag and I'm gonna wipe it all clean just so it's just a thin layer. I don't want it thick on me, I just want a thin layer. Covered and a nice slick even coat of linseed oil all over the canvas. We're almost ready to paint, but what did I say at the beginning about original art and is there any original art left? Are we all art thieves or, or imitators or anything like that? Well, I'll get onto that also pretty soon, but let's have a look at the colours. Let me take you through the colours. I've got a lot of colours down here on the, uh, on the palette. We'll start with Cad Orange, then we've got Cad Red, Magenta, Cobalt Violet, Permanent Rose, Cobalt Blue, Cerulean Blue, Thalo Blue, Emerald Green, Viridian, Permanent green light, Indian yellow, lemon yellow, cad yellow, burnt umber, and titanium white. I'm going to start by just putting on bands of colour just right down there, probably about an inch, 25 mil wide little bands, just mixing up the colours as I go, changing them as I go as well. And I really do want some of that jade underpainting to show through. So as I'm doing this, and I'm working around the palette doing this, I'll explain what I mean about art thieves and art imitators and original painting. So what is originality? Well, according to English author William Ralph Ing, originality is undetected plagiarism. According to the book by Austin Kleon, we can steal like an artist, not a thief. Let's have a look at the good thief and the bad thief. A good art thief will honour the original where the bad will just degrade. A good thief will study well, the bad will skim. A good thief will steal from many sources well, the bad thief will just steal from one source. A good thief will credit the original well, the bad thief will copy the original. A good thief will transform well, the bad will just imitate. And the good thief will remix well, the bad will rip off. So are you a good thief or a bad thief? Colours all on the canvas i've just taken a little bit of what looks like black but it's not black there's no black in this painting okay it's very colorful okay so it is a mixture of cobalt violet a little bit of permanent rose phthalo blue uh some viridian a bit of red maybe a touch of umber thrown in there as well just to make it good and dark and i'm just picking out where we're gonna have some dark colors now they could be random and they're gonna be, I, I don't know if I really wanna separate this line just yet, um, but we'll go down here, okay? And I may have to step back to see where I'm going because I want pretty straight. Blending kind of complete. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a really sparkly bright spot right about here. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and remove a lot of the paint. Okay, right in this yellow zone, right? Just about there. I'm gonna keep wiping off this paint and I'm gonna put some white on and mush that in and make a bit of a bright spot that I might have blaring out, okay? Just like a little hideaway I want just in there. Now, don't worry about all this down here. Um, uh, we're gonna have some, what would appear to be water somewhere down here and, and here. Okay, so don't worry too much about that. That looks cool, actually. <laughs> um, so, so I'm going to work on this bright spot now. A bit of titanium white. And I'm just going to push that in. And I'm going to really push it into the fabric of the canvas. Really push that bright spot in. I want it to draw your eye into there. But we're going to have things going on in here now. We've prepped the canvas. I'm just going to let that sit there. I'm going to put a bit more on, I think. Just let that sit there for a few minutes. Let the... The canvas try and absorb some of the, the white before we, we work on it. So give that a couple of minutes. 
let that sit for a few minutes and what I'm going to do is take the palette knife. Now I've done a very similar painting uh, of this for a very good friend of mine uh, once upon a time and he once gave me this really nice decent palette knife. So I'm going to use this palette knife and all I'm going to do is push straight onto the canvas and just push that white paint in. Okay, I'm not going to zip it off and blend it out. Look at the yellow that's come off there. So make sure you wipe the knife on a clean paper towel. Okay, just push it in very gently there like that. And we can start to take some of this into that magenta colour there. Now, I don't want to take any of that magenta back into the white spot. So I will hit this with one of the blender brushes and i've used three blender brushes on this without cleaning them okay let's get that top part there and just bring it down like so there we got a nice little white dot into the unknown okay there we go i do like this effect we might work with this instead of going with the the uh the original idea that i had or that i stole oh things like that with the knife coming out there get rid of the knife and um, with a delicate brush again, I'm just gonna just soften those over. Don't take any of this color into that white area. And you'll have to just put some more white on and push it back into the canvas. But look at this. This is looking very different, isn't it? Very different from what I'm used to. And that's what we sometimes need to do. We need to do different things. Right, there we go. And of course I may have to redo the green line there i'm going to take a step back a look and see how it's all going light spot all blended out now and i've put another one down here in the water what i've done is i've just taken a little bit of the the dark color and put some streaks across and i'm just pulling the color across with a with a blender just very gently just making the streaks wobble and pulling one color into the other just like so now what i'm going to do so I'm going to put a little bit of land. Okay, this is not your usual landscape painting, but we are going to have a big waterfall, I think, in front of this beautiful coloured uh, background. So a fan brush and some of that dark colour. Okay, and I'm just going to sculpt in some land. Okay, just, just like so. No trees, I don't think, though that might change. Um, but just pull in a little bit of this dark colour now. I may grab a bit more blue and brown into this just to give it another dimension. But something about there, like so. I hope you can see that. Okay, and same on the other side. So plenty of this dark colour. Again, that's just violet, a bit of rose, a bit of red, a bit of blue, a bit of green. No black, no black in this painting, okay? We don't want no dark times. What I want is to put some mist down where this water's gonna hit. So I think we're gonna have a little bit there. So really smush in and wipe off some of that excess oil paint, if you can see all that there, okay? Just smush it in and go back down to the bare canvas, which is jaded color, okay? Then we can do the same with what we did there with some with some white paint uh, i'm gonna have some here as well just get rid of that paint and that oil so get rid of that paint get rid of that oil and we've got a few areas now where some of the the waterfall will be and there like that now don't worry about the crazy bits that are below you miss you can just go back over those and just tease them back into the composition just like so and just like we did before we're just going to put on a bit of white paint and some on this side a bit there just wherever you think the water is going to drip down and we're going to make that water fairly soon we want a bit of mist down here as well and i want some of those colors to show through that we've already put down onto the canvas, but a little bit of white. And it looks, you could think, Dan, what have you done? What is this? What is this? You really goof this one up. This is looking pretty crazy, yeah? That's how we want it. But again, just push that paint in to the fabric, just like so. 
And again, if a little bit of this colour comes through, don't worry too much about it. I do want some colour to come through. I don't want it just pure white. And eventually we're going to snip it off there like that, if that makes any sense to you at the moment. But while we've pushed that paint down into the, the fabric, I'm just going to take this very soft, delicate brush and just blend Blend, 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 blend. You can see where I've rubbed the paint away there. So I want to take this white into that area and soften, soften, soften. This takes some time and take your time. Don't rush this. The depth that we've created here just by putting in some peninsulas and some mist and stuff like that. But what we're going to create now is the big waterfall. Now, I've not done this technique before uh, on a painting as such. I've done it when I've been washing canvas as clean because i didn't like what was on there like the canvas you saw at the very beginning um but we're going to try it now so paint thinner odorless paint thinner and i've got some rags and wipes what we're going to try and do is remove a lot of this a lot of this paint that's already on or oh, enough of it okay and i've got a wash brush that you saw me use and i'm just going to take it right to the top and i'm going to start off We'll start off here and I'm just going to put on a lot of paint thinner and allow that to drip and run down and it will remove a lot of this oil that's on there. Okay, I'm going to put a decent whack on, let individual ripples start. Okay, just at the top, like so. You may need to wipe your brush clean on a paper towel if you need to, but just pick up some paint and then you can start to see now it's cutting through. All this will churn and change. And then we, once we've done this, go over the whole painting. Let's put another one there. And another drip next to it, like so. Might get so far I want to stop it or whatever. We can blend some of this back away and keep it going you're thinking whoa dan that's a mess but trust me it won't be okay i'm going to take this blue streak there and i want it to be pushed back behind that little headland there so i'm going to borrow some of this white with this fan brush uh, this blender brush and i'm just going to tease it into there like that okay just like so wipe it on a cloth and then just make it look like water again okay very wet very slippy very uh, it could quite easily run into making mud territory and we don't want to do that make sure your blender brushes are very dry okay and if it gets a bit too much just wipe it a little bit okay i want these two to remain in the foreground so what i'm going to do is just tap in a little bit of white paint on the end of the brush and we can just sort of like Blend that out there, like so. so. It looks like a little bit of mist and foam and stuff that's just there. In fact, we could push that purple one into that there, like so. So it's landing in there, like that. Now, I will tease that up a little bit once I've wiped the brush dry. I just want to work on this headland, so I'm going to grab the fan brush. Which one did I have? I had that one. Grab a bit of paint the same paint that's down there and just tap in and just tap 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 till we get a zedlum back i've gone over that little line there these little lines i've just scraped down with a palette knife there so i could work on that there a little bit and that pushes that line back behind that edland i think i'm gonna steal a happy little tree that lives about there right in that misty spot and i'm going to take a liner brush and some thinned out paint and just put some arms and limbs on this tree thinned out with oil thinned out with oil and just work your way down nice happy little tree wherever stole that line from huh? and did did he steal it from someone else what? who knows up top here very steady very thin as soon as this painting's done it's gonna have to come off the easel and straight onto a flat surface a little bit of highlight there maybe it misses a bit yeah, like so on the ground like that 
So, are you a good thief or are you a bad thief? Let me know in the comments. Like the video, subscribe if you've not done so already. And until next time, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Happy days.